Hey guys, so it's Thursday. I'm just in the middle of opening a couple more things from the massive mailbox haul. <laughs> anyway, so Chris Sue informed me that there was a card to go along with the package she sent me because I didn't read all the names on the cards before I flipped them over because I didn't want to show the addresses and stuff. So she got me this card and it's so cute. It's like a sweater card. Believe. Cute reindeers. So cute, and it says, I thought these cards were so cute, so I'm sending one your way. Merry Christmas to you and Christian. Thank you so much, Chris Sue. I need to display it, so it'll be one of my Christmas decorations. I'll have to find someplace good for it. So next I have this envelope, and it's already cut open, but I haven't looked at it yet. And there's no name on the front, so I'm not sure who this is from yet. This looks so good on the dark paper. The hair just pops. Oh gosh, yeah, maybe let's take it out of the plastic so it's not so reflective. And there's Judy on my shoulder. I love this style and I love the colors on the dark paper. That is so good. This is an adorable letter. Look at this, so pretty. Ah, and by the way, this is from Bella or Bella Blue Art on DeviantArt. Oh wait, never mind, Instagram, I'm getting this backwards. <laughs> Instagram, Bella Blue Art, DeviantArt. X Blue Cyan X. So the first question is, what is your favorite Legend of Korra slash Avatar The Last Airbender character? I don't know if I could pick one across both series. I mean, in the original, I loved Zuko, of course, everyone loves him, but also Appa. I think those two are my faves. And then in Legend of Korra, I really dig like the villains. Like I loved Amon. I really liked his character. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I can really pick a favorite. Like, I have to give it more thought, but Amon is the first person that comes to mind. So that would be my answer. Next question is, have any, have any favorite drawings you've done? Mm, I'm trying to think. Like, I know I really liked the way my Anna picture came out, but now I'm like, don't like it as much. Uh, I really liked the mermaid drawing I did for my Twitch channel. It's the offline picture on my Twitch channel. And then I also liked one that's quite old. Um, it's called Testing the Waters. It's one of the first videos on my channel. And it, I think I just like that one. It's like nice and bright, lots of nice colors. Uh, oh, and I also like the, this Cora one I did, not the recent one, but this older one where, I mean, there's things I don't like about it, but I like the background because she's sitting by the water and you can see Republic City in the background. I just really like that one. Um, so number three, what is your favorite part of being an animator? Which, by the way, is flipping awesome. I think my favorite part is like, just there's kind of freedom. I mean, it depends on the studio. I live, I'm not live, I work, <laughs> I'll live. I work in kind of an unconventional studio where there's not like supervisors breathing down your neck. You know, we're kind of expected to take responsibility for our own actions and we're given a lot of creative freedom as well, which is not typical of an animation studio like we can make changes to the story if we want like we can make suggestions to my boss and be like what if there was this gag in there like there's a lot of creative freedom no one breathing down your necks and I don't know it beats working in customer service plus you can just wear whatever you want no dress code so those are some perks of being an animator <laughs> lastly how many Copics do you currently own I don't actually know. I did a count not that long ago. What I usually have to do is take a picture of them and then in Photoshop I count them and I'll put a dot on them as I count so I've, I know I've already counted that one. I think I have, I think I have close to 300 maybe. I don't know the exact number though. I haven't actually purchased Copics in a while. Like I think the last ones I got, wait, what were the last ones I got? I know I got these cool grays but those were sent to me from Copic in exchange for doing that blending tutorial forever ago on their channel. Have I purchased any Copics for myself since? I know there was the anniversary set. I'm not sure where that fell in the timeline. I think that was before that. I'm not sure. I don't think I purchased myself Copics in a really long time. Just for giveaways and stuff. I do want to complete my collection though and I'd eventually love to replace all my chows with sketch but it's not really my priority right now. So, yeah. Anyway, those are all the questions for Bella. Judy, roll that clip. 
And there's also this. What is this? Oh, that is so cute. Hold on, I need two hands. No way. It is a starfish. It's like a mermaid themed cupcake, basically. There's a starfish on it. There's little pearls. Wow, that is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Bella. Thank you so much, Chrisu, again for the package and for the card. And thank you, Bella, for all this cute stuff. Oh my gosh. I feel like my camera can't even pick up these blues properly. I mean, maybe it'll look better on the computer screen than on the camera screen, but oh, so bright, so pretty. See, here's where the danger lies. I now open the packages as I receive them, but I don't film a bail mail till later, but I put this stuff all over. Like I, I, I try to put most of the stuff back into the envelope until I film the bail mail, but some of it I wanna like put around my house right away or like I wanna wear this necklace, but I don't wanna lose it or forget which package it goes with. So it's like, I wanna put out this card, I wanna wear this necklace, but I don't wanna like lose it before the bail mail, like not lose it, but I might forget to grab it to be part of the bail mail. So I'm like making a mental note like of all this stuff I've put around, like I gotta make sure I grab that for the bail mail and grab that, so. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Okay, so I just finished filming everything for my next art video. And I think I'm going to show you guys what it is because I'm hoping to have this video up kind of around the same time as the vlog, assuming I can get it all edited tonight. So, it is Snow Globe Christmas cards. This is something I made several years ago and I thought it'd be fun to recreate it. So this is the one that worked out nicely because I used my original technique. This one, I tried using glue around the edges, but I got too close to the center with the glue so you can see along the edges where the sparkles are kind of getting stuck for one. And then there's a little seam where there's no sparkles because the glue is there. So this was like a test version I did just to see how the glue would work. And then I, this is like the actual version, I went back to my old method. There's tape underneath holding the plastic down, but details will be in the actual video, but this card, opens this way da, 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 da. and then this one opens the other way this one was an actual as a thank you card i didn't cover this up yet because i don't think i'm actually going to give this to anyone this is just kind of for practice but i used an existing card and so yeah so this is going to be my next video kind of crafty but still a drawing component involved and then there's my usual post video mess, Copics everywhere, all kinds of supplies for this. Yeah, bunch of pencils, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so the video's pretty much edited. Well, the clips are all edited, and I found some Christmas music to put in as background music, but I haven't really dropped it all in yet because I want to get the audio in first because wherever there's gaps in audio is where the music's going to turn up. So. I just need to record the audio voiceover for it. I just go wait for Christian to go to bed. Because his TV shows are really loud. <laughs> so of course the wind decides to start going crazy when I am recording my audio. I mean it might have been blowing kind of hard before. Maybe I just couldn't hear it because the TV was on. But so loud. I hope you can't hear it in my audio recording for my video because then I'll be sad. So yeah, I just recorded the audio, gotta put everything together now, but I'm excited. It's already 11.30 though, so I kind of gotta hurry up. This site just makes me happy. Just look at this. The nice lights, art supplies, mmm. Okay, it is quarter to one, so I need to head to bed. I'm so glad I finally got that video done, because been wanting to do it for a while so yay and it's always nice to just do something crafty once in a while it just makes me happy so yeah speaking of things that make me happy oh christmas lights are so relaxing i swear this last week has just been amazing in the evenings i've just been in a better mood and i swear it's the lights i just uh, and this is where i ended up putting chris's card next to mr snowman Anyway, I'm off to bed, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I went to pick up stuff. There's 19 things! <gasps> Pick up.
Oh my god, you guys. Like, I opened my P.O. box. It was stuffed. I was, like, jerking the stuff to get it out. <laughs> well, I was kind of being gentle because I don't want to rip the stuff you guys sent me. But, yeah, and then I had six of those papers that